Hey YouTube, Jeff Sir Stuff here. So today is going to be a continuation of the series of of prepping for that Subaru conversion. So I want to make clear that uh, this video series is about the necessary work that you need to do prior to the conversion. It's not about the mechanical process. Okay, it's about gathering the equipment, preparing the kit, getting an engine, and then taking it over to a garage to be worked on. So assuming the van is on the way, like I said in the last video, you want to, if you don't already have a van, you want to find a van where that engine has already been blown because you have no use for that engine. And when you get a van with a blown engine, it's going to save you money that you can put towards your Subaru conversion. So of course you're going to need to locate an engine. Uh, do you want to go with a SVX engine? Or perhaps you want to go with the 2.5 or maybe you want to go with the WRX engine. So that's going to be a decision you're going to have to make. Do you want to go with uh, horsepower? If you want to go with the horsepower, you want to go with the WRX and also you want to look at the SVX. Now, if you want to go with fuel economy, then you're going to want to perhaps go with the 2.5 or with the 2.2. So another thing to consider is what are the emissions regulations in the area where you live? Are there strict emissions regulations? So will your uh, new engine will pass smog? Uh, another important thing is uh, perhaps you can locate a shop who knows how to uh, work on that engine and get it to pass smog for you. So those are things to consider there. Then also you need to consider the uh, conversion kit that you want to go with. Do you want to go with small car or perhaps you want to go with Rocky Mountain Westy? Now myself, I went with small car. Uh, when I went to the garage where I had my conversion done, they had already done a number of conversions in the past. He took a look at the equipment that I acquired, the small car equipment, and he said, oh yeah, you got the best stuff. Because there were some uh, manufacturers of of the adapter kits that he wasn't too keen on. So I'm not going to name those names. But uh, Small Car, I've had that for about nine years. And these parts have just held up really well. My van performs extremely well. You can check out other videos of me uh, driving my van. So another thing that you're going to have to acquire... Is going to be the wiring harness, okay? Uh, a lot of these parts you can find online, but then also you may have to do some legwork. Myself, I had to go to a neighboring county, uh, San Bernardino County, I had to find a wiring harness in the salvage yard, the wiring, wiring harness in the brain. And the wiring harness actually takes up a lot of, of the time in the conversion because that wiring harness is going to have to be pulled apart and rewired, and it takes a very long time to do it. So that's those are things to think about. And then also I want to make, as far as uh, locating the engine, uh, wiring harness, uh, different things such as that, these can be found on, on eBay, uh, Craigslist. Uh, you could also go to a salvage yard and find an engine. Now, when you go to a salvage yard to find an engine, you definitely want to get that engine out of a car that maybe has like rear end damage. You don't want one with front end damage because you don't know what kind of condition that engine is going to be in. Also, you want to know or check out what is the warranty on this engine. So these are all things to think about. You're going to have to do some work yourself because to my knowledge, uh, the majority of these garages, they're not going to find the engine for you. They're not going to find the wiring harness for you, the engine brain for you. You're going to have to find these things for yourself. The internet is an excellent resource for that. Uh, you're just going to have to go on there and, and look for that stuff each day. Uh, just look for it across the country. Find, find it on the internet, have it shipped to you. So like I said, once again, this is about the prep work. Before you take your your uh, van in to get work at the garage. So I hope this information was helpful for you. Uh, once again, Jeff's your stuff. 
I hope that you'll like and subscribe. Have a great day out there.